Right, so if I were to grab this one, so see here we have all of this. What I can do with this, which is kind of neat, is let me show you. I can move these out. And then I'm going to grab all the stuff and leave out the original inputs and what came out. And then I'm going to right click. Ah, I'm going to go edit and then cluster. Oh, you can also do this by hitting the space bar. Come on. Or there. Oh, you right click in space and you type in cluster. It will bring them all down into one. And when you look, it just says cluster. And if you double click it, you go like inside it. So it's like you're in the group and it's like a little box. Um, and you can edit stuff in here, you can adjust it, and then you double click this box to get out. I think it's rerunning that sphere thing, so I should probably take that out. Um, but what that lets you do is basically like group larger parts of your definition into one little component. And as long as you left out, that's the one caveat. If you don't have, let's say like it ends with like a bunch of outputs, but you haven't connected them to anything, once you cluster them, it will give you that jagged edge on the right side that doesn't let you connect anything to it. So you at least need to leave something out of it so that it knows you're trying to pull stuff out. And then this becomes kind of like a custom component because you can you can name this whatever you want. Um, let me just delete this guy. Uh, now I can go back, see, and if you click this, it says save and close, or you light the box on fire and then you discard and close. So that's basically like saying I don't want to do it, or you can return to parent. So I'm going to just say save and close. And then if you right click this, you can rename this. So this could be called diagrid. There's no way that's spelled right. Diagrid structure. And now look, we have surface, domain, new count, v count, and then out of it we get the two lines. Which if we wanted to, we could have done something else with these, right? So this is up to you so you can decide what you think should go in there. And the crazy thing is now I can just hit control C and control V and I have like a whole nother one and it's like a million things but like it's just one little component so that's where it's like you realize you can do a lot of stuff with this and then on the outside it still is gonna it still will work perfectly so it needs this and then it needs your surface so the surface and the domain and see it's it's grabbed everywhere it was pulling an input from the outside and it's created it as an input on the left side of this little cluster. So sometimes you'll download a definition. Like I'll show you some websites where you can go and you can find other people's like definition. People will upload and be like, oh man, look, this one will take any shape and then lay it out on panels so that you can laser cut it. And then it flattens everything and it numbers it for you. And you get it and it looks like this. And you're like, oh man, but I need to change one setting. And like, there is no way to change it. But it's actually, you're like, okay, they use diagrid structure. And you type it in, and it's not even a real thing because it's a cluster. Even though it looks like a component, and when you highlight it, it, you'll see that. But if you don't know what this is, like, it doesn't mean anything to you. So I see that happen a lot where people are like, I don't know how they got this. And or they're watching a video, and someone has a cluster as part of their definition, and they didn't realize it was a cluster. So if you see in a definition some weird stuff, it's always a red flag when it's spelt wrong or it's like got like weird gibberish in it. Um, but if you notice, this will stay active. So I can change this and I just have a couple inputs and outputs and I'm completely changing what's happening and it still runs straight through it. So that's almost exactly the same as this. See? Type. What is this? Diagrid type true. I don't know what that does. Um, it's like, it's true. <laughs> okay. Um, but see, that's really similar, but this does the same thing now. Um, we made that one our own. But this one is done, and it is part of that 
it just has a cool logo. That's the only thing that ours doesn't have. But ours has the whole definition in there. 